my wrongs, I have just begun to what is going on guys it is relentless gaming here today i'm bringing you some sniper breakdown gameplay from the battlefield one beta i was able to get two of the guns and get some pretty good footage on the mark three sniper as well as the russian 1895 so i'm going to talk about both of them and then i'm going to give you my preference at the end so the Mark III, I thought, was a really well sniper. It was the very first one I picked up, as I don't even think you can unlock the other one until you play with the, you know, the Scout class for a little bit. But I did notice I got a few hit markers with really both of the snipers, and I think this is just how Battlefield plays. They want you to go for those more difficult shots, those headshots. So I did get a lot of assist counts as kills, but at the same time, I was able to pick guys off who already, you know, had low health. So it was an easy one shot, as you can see in a lot of these clips. Now on Battlefield, another thing to take note about the sniping is you really have to lead the people. And a lot of these clips, the farther out they are, it's it's real life. I mean, you have to take into account bullet drop as well as how far ahead you are of them. So, you know, that's really interesting and definitely a more challenging thing that you see in a Battlefield game versus Black Ops or a Call of Duty game for a matter of fact. Now the Russian 1895, I did prefer a little bit more from a scope perspective. You were aimed down sights, you were able to see a little bit more of what's going on around you. So if someone was coming to your left or right, or there were perhaps more people spawning in, you could see where they are and locate them a little better than the Mark III, which takes up the majority of the screen where you zoom in and then anything not within the scope goes black. So this was a big advantage that the Russian 1895 had. And I did favor the Russian 1895 from a damage perspective. I know on the stats they come out to be about the same, but I did find that the Russian packed a little more power per bullet. I also noticed that the Russian did have a little larger ammo size, but that'll about do it for this video, guys. If you're hyped for Battlefield 1 release and you're gonna be pre-ordering that puppy like me, smash the like button. But until next time, guys, stay relentless.